In this video, I'm going to talk about solving a system of linear equations by the use of Kramer's rule. So the idea here is we were given two linear equations in two variables, and we have to find the values of x and y, which we call the solution. Now the values of x and y respectively should satisfy both of the equations. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you how this how this uh, formula works. We call Kramer Kramer's rule. Okay. Let's go ahead and write down the equations again. Two uh, x plus plus y. Okay, so let me. equal to 4 and the second equation is negative 2x plus 3y is equal to 4 okay so to find x okay so we're going to be using this format here uh, there's this determinant terminology that what this numerator is about this is a determinant but looks like a pair of uh, vertical lines okay so that's what the formula uh, we're going to be using for both x and y okay so before we complete each of these boxes here the first thing we check is to make sure that our x y and the constants are nicely lined up okay so look at the x terms and see if they're lined up properly so the x terms are lined up, the y the y terms are lined up, and also the constants. Okay. Now for the constant on the numbers on the right side, I'm going to enclose it because there's like a special place for that four and four. Okay. Now the denominators for this x and y. So we're gonna start with this box down here. I want you to write down the coefficients of the x and the y's. Okay, so we're going to be using those coefficients. So the first coefficient is a 2. And then now this y is understood to be 1y. Okay, so we're going to pick up those 2 and 1. I'm going to place those 2 and 1 here. And then the coefficients of our second equations are negative 2 and 3. So we'll go ahead and write down negative 2 and 3 down here. Now, same with this box underneath the, the y, okay? So that's exactly the same numbers. We're going to write down as denominators for our y value, okay? So negative 2 and 3. Now, let's complete the elements of our determinant for x. Okay, so we're looking for x value here. But we're not going to be using the coefficients of x. Okay? We're not going to be using this ne 2, negative 2 in our uh, numerator for our x. So instead, we're going to replace those two numbers by this 4 and 4. Okay? So we're going to okay, place the 4 and 4 here. And on, on the y, okay, on, on the y, um, we're not going to be using the y coefficients. Also, we're going to replace the y coefficients by that number 4 and 4. All right. Now, how do we complete this uh, last column here? Okay, when you look down, you see 1 and 3. So, I want you to go ahead and pick that 1 and 3 up and go ahead and write it down over here. Okay. Now, over here on the y equal, okay, this needs to be filled up as well. So what you do is pick up the numbers below, which is the 2 and negative 2, and go ahead and copy-paste that here. Okay, and now we're ready to do the algebra for our uh, Kramer's rule. So this is a determinant, and the formula to use is very simple. So what you do is... Multiply this diagonal numbers, so that's a 4 times 3. 
and also multiply these other diagonal numbers 1 times 4. Now, it's going to be all the time, always minus between those products, okay? Now, the bottom numbers, it's the same format. So, you're going to multiply these diagonal numbers 2 times 3. Again, minus the other diagonal numbers, the product of 1 and negative 2. Okay, so let's simplify this. That's 12 minus 4 over 6. A negative negative 2 is a positive 2. Okay, 12 minus 4 is 8. 6 plus 2 is 8. Okay, so that's a 1. Right, that will be our x. Our x value is 1. Okay, let's go do the y value. So I'm going to multiply these diagonal numbers. That's 2 times 4. All the time use minus. Then multiply this other diagonal number 4 times negative 2. Right over, same way, uh, 2 times 3 minus this 1 times negative 2. Okay, so we got this 8. A negative 4 times a negative 2 is positive 8 over 6 plus 2. So this is 16 over 8, which is a 2. Now, uh, that's your y. All right. And we're done. So, we got the solution for our x and y. So the solution set is 1, 2, representing your x and y. So, this is the x. That's the y. Okay. So, that's how you do it using Kramer's rule. Let's do one more example. Okay, so let's say we have this system of equation 3x plus y is equal to 9. Let's say 2x minus y is equal to 1. Okay, so again, x is going to be equal to some determinant divided by another de determinant. Go ahead and write it here. So x equals some determinant divided by another determinant. And then y is going to be some determinant divided by another determinant. And let me erase this part right here. Okay, let's start uh, filling up these determinant boxes, okay? So I'm going to enclose my constant 9 and 1. All right, so let's start doing the denominators here. So under underneath, what we do is pick up again the coefficients of our x and y. Now this y is understood to be 1y. So the coefficients of our x and y terms are going to be 3 and 1, and then 2, negative 1 for our second row. And those are the same number we're going to be using for our y. Okay? okay, now, go back to your x. So the top number, though this is an x term, okay, we're not going to be using the coefficients of x Instead, we're going to use these constants 9 and y, okay? Sorry, 9 and 1, excuse me. Now, for the y value, we're not going to be using the y coefficients. Instead, we're going to use the 9, 1 in place of those coefficients. All right. And then, to complete this second column here, so look down, you see 1, negative 1. So copy paste that. And then on the y, on the y value here, to complete this column here, go ahead and copy paste this 3 and 2. 
Okay, now we're ready to do the arithmetic. So again, the determinant formula is you multiply the diagonal numbers, so 9 times negative 1, always uses minus after that, and then multiply also this other diagonal number, that's 1 times 1. Okay, over. Diagonal number 3 times negative 1, minus uh, diagonal numbers 1 times 2, okay? 1 times 2. Uh, just simplify. That's 9 negative 1 is negative 9. Negative 9, negative 1 over, okay, this is negative 3, and then negative 2. So the numerator is negative 9, negative 1, which is a negative 10, over negative 3, negative 2 is a negative 5. So negative 10 over negative 5, is positive 2. Okay, so that will be our x value. Okay, on the, the y side, we're multiplying this 3 and 1 minus multiply 9 and 2 over, okay, same, multiply 3 and negative 1 minus, then multiply 1 times 2. Right, so this is 3, negative 18. That's 3, negative 18 over negative 3, negative 2. So that is negative 15 over negative 5, which is positive 3. Okay, so that is your y value. Okay, you, you can check your solution. So our solution is start with x, 2 comma 3. Now it has to be in close in parentheses because in the first part of the video, I explained that those two lines represented by the linear equations are going to be um, intersecting. So for, for one case, they will intersect. In this case, we have a solution and the solutions 2, 3 represents coordinates of the point of intersection of the two lines. And that point of intersection is our solution. Okay, so this is your x, that's the y. And those two numbers should satisfy the given linear equations. Okay, so quickly, we can check. Okay, uh, 3x plus y is that equal to 9 when you plug in those 2 and 3? So 3 times 2 is 6 plus 3. Okay, so 3 times 2 is 6 plus 3. Yes, it's a 9. And that same same numbers 2 and 3 are going to satisfy the second equation as well when you plug in those 2 and 3. Okay, so hopefully this video helped. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Until next time.